Mike Trout here at Foundlips House Japan, and today I'm going to teach you how to, or show you, how to make a simple little habitat for your little chuck chuck so you can put them in the garden. Here is an old shopping basket that I found in the river, and ultimately I'm going to transform it by simply making an entrance so I can reach in there and put the chickens in, right? And look, it automatically closes. Uh, oh, I may want to pull it out. I think I may want to pull it out and then have it closed down. Maybe a little better on my hands. Right. Um, I didn't cut it all the way out, just around. Maybe I need to cut a little bit more. I think I will. I'll cut this one here and this one here and see if that helps. The other thing I'm going to do now is I drilled holes so I can put these tent spikes into the ground and pound them into the ground with a hammer. The next thing is I want to find a suitable place, one where there's sun and plenty of grubs. So like this is a good place. I've got stones here. Here's my little frog. There's lots of little critters here. All right. Hey, buddy. Are you going to come out of here yet? Are you just stuck? Huh? Come on. Come on. Come on. I think he's stuck. Hey. Come on. I think he's stuck. Come on, come on. He's, he's like having a giving birth here. This little toad, it's not a frog, it's actually a, I mean, it's not a toad, it's actually a frog. Come on, there he goes. <laughs> Welcome. All right, I'll put that, you're gonna go out from the spring. Big old frog, Let's give you some water. Oh, he's gone, Never mind. All right, so there's lots of little critters here. I don't know why this bag's in here. This bag shouldn't be in here. A little earthworm, a little worm in here. So this is a good little spot. Any rocks throw out there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is uh, let's put in the uh, basket. All right, that's it. So there's a little roly-poly, put them in there. And uh, I can now go get the chickens one by one and put them in here. I'll probably put a brick on top. Give them some water in case they want to give themselves a bath. But there's lots of little critters in there, worms and stuff like that. And they can enjoy a day in the outside. And there they are. Running around already. Eat little, little buggers. In a little place there. I can sit here and watch them. They're very curious. It's outside, never been outside before. This is our first time outside. and then enjoy themselves outside. I'm gonna set up another one. These little guys now are cleaning up the little pests and I can move basket to basket, have it around in different places and rotate them around. And they're having a, a grand old time. It's important to keep an eye on them. Uh, a cat can't get in here. I may put a stone on top. Um, just provide them a little bit of shade and also the stone will heat up. Um, and they should enjoy that. And they're fun to watch, little chuck chucks. An added benefit for this too, is it allows me to clean out their coop. So here's their coop, and basically I'm getting all the, all the dirt out and uh, putting in new bedding in their little house there. This house has basically the sensor that tells me how hot it is. So it's 24 inside the house. 
And a lot of their food, I just leave it, they kick the food on the ground, pick out the hard turds, you know. Little turds. The cool thing is I've got this heater in here. There's a heater back in there, and it dries out their turds. Make some hard little pellets like this here. Like this, look, little hard little turd pellets. See, they're not soft or anything, it dries them out. Kind of nice. It's kind of like a little aerator. So now I'm gonna go and get that grass there and chop it up and put it back in there. All right, I got the new bedding in here and there's lots of little beetles and other things, little critters in here for them to find because I'm just taking them, picking it up from over there off the ground and putting it in there. Nice clean bedding with some additional protein. You know, this is really sad is there's no bees that I can see. Actually, yeah, this is a bee right here. This is a solitary bee. Little solitary bee, little mason bee. Taking advantage of this time that's just started to flower. And there are some flies that are actually in the, in the little chick chicks there. They're enjoying their experience outdoors, their first time outdoors. I'd like to create some sort of enclosure around the middle there and let them run wild in this little area. And, um, or possibly create some sort of run around the side here. It goes from here and I can just put them out and they can just run around and fertilize and pick all the insects out of the garden here. So that's what I've been thinking of is how to create a portable chicken run. And I have some ideas but that will be a project for when they get older and that would be really cool to be able to let them to roam around here and enjoy. Everything is just, just taking off. Strawberries, this is, that's, this is grape right here. The strawberry is looking really nice flowering in here. The red clover is coming up, putting in nitrogen. The, the time is marching, marching down. And that'd be cool if this becomes all time bed. That's fine because then I can put rosemary and other things growing up out of it and the time becomes ground cover. So that's perfectly okay with me. And the fish are having a really great time. Look at them. They are chasing each other and just, just loving it. Loving the pond. Trout are such a great fish to have. They're, you know, they're an active fish. There's two of them in the shallows here. They love the shallow. I created the shallow area and they love it. These two are just fighting it out for, for dominance. You can see where the yin and the yang. It looks like there's a yin and yang. I don't know if that's mating or there's a males and a female, but they're definitely going at it with each other. Another one loves to sit right under here. You can see his tail. Ready? <laughs> There's another one right there in the shallow. Just chasing each other. There are little minnows in here. I gotta get more of these little minnows. This little minnow swimming right there. Right towards the big old trout there. I'm sure that trout's 
looking at them. 